Do you think if sharks would be embarrassed if they knew that we could all see their fins sticking out of the top of the water? <laughs> they swim around like, hey, nobody has any idea who's down here. And we're all up here like, there's totally a shark right there. You know, Louie raises an interesting point here. Why would a shark expose its dorsal fin when moving in for the kill? Unless it's just another myth about these misunderstood ocean predators. The jetting dorsal fin has become a staple of shark pop culture, to the point that it's more of a joke than anything. In reality, however, sharks very rarely swim with an exposed dorsal fin. There's a lot of water out there in the ocean, and most sharks attack prey either close to the bottom or in mid-water. The shark fin motif tends to pop up in movies because it's always easier to make a fake shark fin than an entire fake shark. Though Jaws actually tends to get things right, with point-of-view shots of the deadly great white approaching his prey from below. Now, sharks will sometimes pursue prey into water so shallow that a little exposed fin is simply inevitable. And when humans bait sharks to the surface with buckets of delicious chum, there's lots of surface exposure as well. They're not even above jumping completely out of the water. But sharks are ultimately denizens of the deep, and they're actually quite susceptible to sunburn. But that's just one myth about sharks, and plays into the biggest misconception about our finned frenemies. That's right, man-eating. Shark pop culture is rife with human-chomping sharks, zombie-eating sharks, and true enough, sharks will not hesitate to chomp down on some delicious long pig. But with a mere 100 shark attacks per year and only a handful of fatalities, you're far more likely to meet your death by hippopotamus, dog, deer, horse, cow, snake, spider, jellyfish, honeybee, or even a mosquito. Even falling soda machines kill more humans per year than sharks. And here are some other shark myths to consider. Mindless killing machines? Uh-uh, think again. Even great white sharks are actually intelligent, highly inquisitive creatures and not the ravenous monstrosities of fiction. They're far smarter than most fish in the sea, boasting a complex brain and some incredible sensory equipment. A reef shark can hear low frequency sounds for more than a mile around. Their eyes are 10 times more sensitive than humans in low light. They can even detect electrical impulses of other life forms. Their keen sense of smell can even pinpoint a single drop of blood in 25 million drops of seawater. With the largest brain of any cold-blooded animal, the Great White devotes an unrivaled 18% of its head cheese to smell alone. But let's not get silly about it. Contrary to the myth, sharks cannot smell blood in the water from miles away. And do sharks have to keep swimming to stay alive? Well, all sharks do need water moving over their gills to breathe, but they've developed a number of workarounds, such as resting in a current, sleeping in oxygen-rich caves, or simply pumping water over their gills by opening and closing their mouths. And finally, let's dispel the notion that sharks rule the oceans. Sharks range in size from the diminutive dwarf lantern shark to the gentle giant whale shark. And numerous species are actually endangered by the most destructive force in the Earth's oceans, Homo sapiens. Research indicates that about 100 million sharks are killed each year by humans, roughly 11,000 sharks every hour by commercial and recreational fishermen. Now who's the real ravenous killing machine? So what do you think about sharks now that we've dispelled some of the myths? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos.